I am nervous about today's topic because I think it is potentially one of the more controversial topics I have brought to my channel. Hi, my name is Kaylee. Thank you for clicking on my video, checking out my content. I create content about healing, wellness, and faith. I am also opening the door to creating content about biblical womanhood. It is a topic I never ever thought in my life I would ever actually try to impart upon others by just informing them about my experience with it. It was never a goal of mine to be married and be a homemaker. It was never even on my radar that that's where I wanted my life to go. It wasn't until I was standing in the midst of this incredible blessing, the season of my life, that I realized I'm a homemaker and I love it. So let's talk about it. And before we go any further, let me just take a break to share with you something really exciting real quick. One of our community members is a published author. His name is Laval Allsbrook, and he published a children's book called He Is Always With Me. In this children's book, a young boy has a very terrifying experience with the thunderstorm waking him up, and his father comes in and comforts him by reminding him that God is always with him. And together they sing a very joyful, wonderful song that communicates that God is everywhere all the time and that he loves us. And the song has some humor in it and some seriousness in it, and it is very sweet. This book is wonderfully illustrated and very soft and kind, and I think it is very encouraging to little young souls who are being born into a rather scary world to have this reminder at such a young age that God is always with them. And I also find that in a world where we are increasingly seeing content that is going after the purity and innocence of children, having this new book available is awesome. And I am sharing this book with all of you out of just favor and love because I really love supporting fellow artists and fellow believers in their endeavor to spread God's word and glorify God and give goodness and love to others. So if you'd like to check out more, go ahead and click the link below and go check out this book for yourself. Thank you so much. Let's dive back into our topic. First of all, I would like to offer you the definition of homemaking. Homemaking, from my notes, is the creation and management of a home, especially as a pleasant place to live. Homemaking was my favorite thing about being single. In this season of singleness, I lived in a dorm, I lived with roommates, and I lived with other interns in intern housing, and I lived in my own apartment. Through the transition of all of these places, it was very important to me to make my space my own. I really cared about the flow, the order, the atmosphere, the tone, the cleanliness of my dorm room, my bedroom, my apartment. And when I moved into my own apartment, in that space, the Holy Spirit had given me the command to occupy the space. And so I gave myself the freedom to spend money here and there and I bought like it was the first time I bought like a full-size rug I bought curtains I bought different bed sets I bought uh, tablecloths I bought all these things and I bought them at really good deals on clearance like guys I shopped at big lots sometimes like I have no shame about that that's totally cool so I filled this space and it was beautiful. I would classify it as a girl apartment. You walked in there and the femininity was flowing. <laughs> when I filled that space and occupied that space, I was experiencing the art of homemaking. And I didn't understand it then, but I do now because I was making this space a pleasant place to live. And it was not just important to me that my things were organized and had homes and were clean, but it was important to me that I created a flow of life, that there was a reason laundry was was done this day. There was a reason I baked on this day. There was a reason behind everything I did. And it was a very intentional living that had this like softness in it that was amazing. Fast forward when I got engaged and I got married and I moved overseas, that came with me. And it was harder to figure out how to do that in such a drastically new environment. Initially, I didn't have a lot of say just because of practicality, because we had to renovate the space, we had to install a kitchen. Like there was a lot of things that happened before I got here. But once I got here, I had full freedom and command over the flow, tone, and order of the space. And this was something that took time for me to embrace as a married woman because it felt different. But once I did, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so incredible because 
there is so much intention by the way in which I operate in my home and that intention reflects positively and bears fruit for my household, which is only me and my husband now, but it's really important that he and I have a really solid, strong foundation of living flow, communication, blah, 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 before we open the door of parenthood. So something that I understood from a young age was that the, and I think something that we all understand is the state of the environment in which we occupy impacts our state of mind. It impacts our productivity, it impacts our peace, and we project what's going on on the inside to the outside. Now, I do think that there is a line that can be crossed in this. I don't think your home should be controlling you. I think that you should be in command of the order of your home. When you are practicing homemaking intentionally, you are creating a space that supports and nourishes you as you build your life, as you are growing as an individual, as you grow with your partner if you have one, or as you grow in your serving of God. The space that you are creating supports that. So you're not living for the space, you're ordering and commanding the space so that it supports you in the things you actually want to do. I have recently learned to a new depth that when I prioritize my homemaking, my order and command and flow of my home, my productivity and my work skyrockets. If I actually take the first three hours of my day to set order into my home, and that doesn't mean just cleaning or cooking. And like, it, it, those are the actions, but the intention behind it. So I have before early in the morning prepared dolma, which is like Turkish stuffed peppers. And it's really awesome to let them marinate in the fridge for a while before they bake. So I prepared them in the morning, put them in the fridge, worked for several hours, came downstairs, popped them in the oven, and then did some cleaning. And that's flow. That is, I prioritized the nourishment and support that I was going to need to be able to actually be productive because I needed to eat a good lunch. I needed to fuel my body. I needed the caloric support, which is something I talk about on this channel a lot. We need to eat enough to be able to do the things we need to do because our body requires fuel. So something that I used to do when I was out of the flow of homemaking was that I would just prioritize my work and then I'd get famished and have nothing to eat and I'd experience some burnout. But now when I prioritize my homemaking, the nourishment and support, things are flowing much more efficiently with love and with nurture. When I was a single woman and a believer in the Lord, I, I didn't have my first all by myself apartment until I was a believer in God. So when I moved into that apartment, I understood the blessing of it so much so that I anointed it, um, it like with oil and told God this was his place. Like I will do with it what you want me to do. Thank you for this place. So my home was unto the Lord. There's a scripture that says, me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I was operating in that mindset before I was engaged, before I knew who I was going to marry. I was operating in this state of mind as a single woman in my home, homemaking. So now that I am a married woman, that skill has increased and now it equips me and my husband to serve the Lord. Homemaking is not something that is just a switch you turn on. It's actually a rather complex skill that improves and develops over time and changes per environment, per house, per apartment, per season of life. It is an ongoing developing style of management and delegation and productivity that you see change and evolve. Basically what I'm trying to say is that homemaking is not something that is just belonging to a particular group of people or in a particular season of life. That homemaking is a skill all of us can tap into and it brings flow and order into our life. Homemaking is incredibly amazing and I think that everybody benefits by doing that by bringing flow and order into your life and nobody's style of management of their home and life looks like anybody else's. So you can adopt any style, any practice, any method you'd like, but lean into this idea that your home supports you. So pour into it a little bit, prioritize it a little bit, and let that order be nourishing and supportive to you so that you can pursue the good works that you want to pursue. Daily functioning of life is not the same thing as homemaking. Homemaking is intentionally setting up love, grace, nurture, support into the flow of home, into the flow of the home, whereas just functioning life because you have to eat, you have to clean, and being miserable miserable about it and disliking it and, and complaining about it, this is not homemaking. Okay. 
I don't really know where else I'm going with this video because there are some points that I had written down that I'd actually rather not dive into today. So I'm gonna wrap this up here and basically just say that I secretly love homemaking because I didn't even realize it's something I've been doing since I was a young child, that making my space my own and creating flow and order is something that I really value. And I find a lot of value in prioritizing that skill set because it ripples through my life. That is all. If you would like to hear more topics about biblical womanhood and this, you know, homemaking and all that, this is a completely new topic that I'm introducing to my channel. So please drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts, please. Give me your thoughts. This is a group effort, so please do so. Go ahead and share this video with anyone if anyone came to mind and you would like to do so and give me a thumbs up if you're feeling it. And just a reminder that if you want to see more behind the scenes content and interact with me more on the daily basis, go ahead and follow my Instagram. And if you'd like to see more of what my life is like here in Turkey without the wellness bit, you can go ahead and find me on TikTok. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you and I will see you next time. You can just feel this like tightness inside of me that I'm like, Kaylee, this is an intense topic. Are you sure you want to walk this way? Yes. <laughs>